Hey everybody, uh, Andy here with a little SGC video. Shocker, I know it's hard to believe. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, they raised the prices recently, but um, they are turning stuff around quick. So I've got an order back here in like a week and a half. And I, the only thing I'm bummed about is that I had this stack ready to go. Uh, now they've increased the prices, and so I'm going to have to go through and decide what I'm actually sending. But uh, I'll just show you kind of what I was thinking I would do. This maze, this mantle, uh, this Hank, this Reggie. Got a little Ichiro Pujols action. Barry Sanders, uh, this either this one or this one. I have two of them. One of them's from B. Roth, Brian, B. Roth six. But this cheap, you know, Robinson rookie and Bo, and here's a Steve Avery for the PC. I busted open my '86 traded set and pulled the kind of notable ones, you know, and uh, thought they had shots at nines. But you know, that's the kind of thing I'll have to look at more closely now because. Yeah, some of these things in here make sense at $15 a card, not so much at $25. So Don Russ, uh, Cal, Boggs, this Gwen was probably an eight, so that may not get sent anymore. Uh, a couple of the of the Cal Ripkins. Uh, there's a kid down my street who has like a super loud little race car, and that's what you hear. A couple of Henderson rookies uh, beat up George Brett. That was going to be kind of a PC card for me. Molitor Trammel with a edge issue here so like probably that won't get sent anymore this munson this fisk i probably will still send that this one i don't know because this is probably five and then this like tops gold griffey so yeah just just need to make some adjustments on you know the quantity and quality and types of things i'm sending but i am going to continue i don't think it's the end of the world and i think we probably all could have seen this coming too um so this order I got back, I want to show you quickly. Um, and I got beat up a little bit. Um, not not terrible. And there are a couple of wins in here too. Um, some could have been better. Let's just get into it and start out with one that I thought could have been better. I missed the mark on this Rice rookie. I, I was hoping for a seven. Um, snagged a six, but a nicely centered six. So just get some piles going here. This table's a mess, man. There's cards everywhere. Um, here's a pretty, okay, well, it's, these are in no order at all. A um, couple of Rickies. Uh, just a tough, this is just such a tough card, man. I still think it's kind of fun to shop for and send in. but uh, And I really like this third year, but um, has this little surface thing happening there and i don't know i thought it could still be mint but just missed it um here's the the only 10 in the order so i did get a 10 on this stafford rookie and i haven't looked up any prices yet but i'm just assuming i'll do okay on this i mean i paid five bucks for this card raw if that um so it's tough to lose when that's the case uh clemens eight <laughs> Um, this Beltre International, I, I thought I, I, this is what I thought it would get. So that's actually a success. You can see the chipping and stuff, but I've been looking for this card, a nice one to send, and this was the nicest I could find. So I'm happy to get the eight on that. And here's another eight. Ozuna, green refractor, Bowman Chrome. I don't, I don't mess with cards like this too much. And so pretty predictable that I would get an eight on that. Um, all right, we got uh, Freddie, and we'll be in the straight vintage here in a minute, but there's a couple more new cards. Got a Freddie Freeman, 9.5, a little better than I thought. I thought that was just going to get a 9. Uh, here's one that did just get a 9. It's the Sakunya. Um, just kind of cool uh, to have the rated rookie there. A little shiny. I don't, I don't have a lot of shine in my collection, so... We'll see. Um, all right, well, let's get into the vintage. First up, Molitor Trammel. Oop, got about what I thought it would. 
pretty cool. There was a, uh, I don't know, a nine or a 10 that sold for a ridiculous amount of money, that card recently. Um, here's uh, probably the one I got beat up on the worst, man. This Henderson rookie, um, I underestimated some of these flaws. And uh, four, four point five on this. I, I was hoping for a seven on this card, so I missed some things. Got put in my place on that one a little bit. Um, sent in a bunch of sixty twos, and uh, here we go. Now we're all just yeah, everything's vintage here now. This Eddie Matthews was a little bit of an experiment. It's got some snow. It has this white, t lighter tan line across the top, but the corners and edges are super sharp and. Um, I just didn't know what it would do. I thought it may be six, uh, possibly seven, but it's a five, five. So I have a couple other little experiments in here. Well, that was one of them. Speaking of five, five, uh, that's what this giant gunner's gar card got. Maze and Cepeda there. Pretty sweet. Um, here's some of the 62s. Second to last year, Stan the Man. Just a nicely centered example. Great image on this card. Um, I always shoot for fours on the vintage, so I, some some I come a little bit, you know, I get a little higher, some a little lower. But, um, here's one that was a little lower, but these are some just great looking threes. And this is the kind of stuff I can't probably, I don't know, I can't send as much stuff like this anymore, you know? It just doesn't make sense with the new pricing. Um, uh, but it's been fun sending the kind of low-grade, well-centered vintage. Um, this one's not even that well-centered. It got a three, but this is cool. It's the Milton Bradley uh, Carew card. So that'll probably be a PC uh, card for me. Um, as will this one. And I was literally just paying to get this in the slab. 54, Spawn, great colors. Got this card for $5.00. It got a two, which I figured, I mean, look how rounded the corners are and stuff, but uh, I think that thing looks awesome in its tux. So staying with me, that one is. A um, couple of Babe Ruth specials from the 62 set. So got a five on this one here. And then a 4.5 on this one, which I love. Um, and so that'll, that'll be a tough one to decide on. Might have to keep it. Uh, a couple of rookie cards here. Um, surface scuffs uh, on the Sutton. The back, I did think, looked really clean on this one, though. Check it out. Pretty clean. But it's just a 3.5. So Sutton rookie. Um, got uh, also... Uh, Thought this would be a nicely centered example of a Joe Morgan rookie for somebody. I'm not a huge Joe Morgan fan. Ended up just being a three, but a very nice looking three. Okay. Um, wow, we're going through quick. So just four more cards, um, including a Killebrew rookie to round it out. So first, uh, this was the last experiment for this order. I sent in these two Eckersleys, and I predicted that they would get the same grade and that it, they would both be sixes, I think. So I'm pretty pleased with myself on the, uh, on the prediction there. And I'll probably keep this, uh, this one for me and, and sell this one. And that's not a high dollar card or anything. Although I haven't checked it lately. I don't think that's one of the ones that's exploded though. Um, so not everything is as wacky as, you know, you would, think if you you know watch some videos out there um there's lots of opportunities for cool cards like that and they can be had without breaking the bank um last one uh second to last one here 59 willie mays centered with a major corner issue 3.5 on this one but a beautiful card looks really nice uh the yellow really pops with the the black border so i was happy to be in my range with that and then the last one, you know, that I was thinking for um, on was the Killer Rookie. Nicely centered example with uh, some surface stuff happening, but um, 
really cool. Got a 4.5 on a killer rookie, rookie. So I have a PSA 4 of this card as well. And I'll have to uh, kind of compare them, see which one I'd like to keep and which one I might want to move. But that's obviously a, a good result for me there. Um, so I'm quite pleased. And I would have been pleased if this came back at 3 also because I, I wasn't sure, you know, how it would do, honestly. Um, so good result. So that's it. Um, they're caught up. Like I said, for me, that's just going to mean maybe sending some maybe less cards or um, at the very least, obviously, have to be a little bit more strategic. Just changes the math. Uh, I'm quite happy to send in cards that I'll just break even on, especially some of this vintage, you know. That's just kind of fun, fun to find, uh, you know, collector grade nice eye appeal examples of cards that are in collector grades and um i'm still going to try to do some of that but i'll have to uh I'll have to, you know redo my math and we'll figure it out but there you go uh the latest sgc video and managed to show off the order and these uh cards here that i'm planning on sending so that was a productive uh video got through a lot got through a lot of cards on this video hopefully y'all got to see them enough and well enough and um see this will be this is a beater that's just going to be for me just want to get it protected i think i have a three five on the yount so that'll go well with that but yeah anyway so i'll uh, go through these decide narrow it down a little bit perhaps not going to send all 30 for sure um but uh yeah it's all good um Hope everybody's doing well, and I appreciate you watching. See you next time. Have a great day.